hello friends in today's uh, video i will demonstrate how to configure port security on h3c or hpe switches by using hcl cloud lab in this scenario basically this is uh, uh, the same scenario i uh, configured in my previous video of dhcp e server in this scenario i configured these two pcs in vlan 10 and these two pcs in vlan 20 and i configured two different dhcp servers for both of the vlans now i will configure uh, port security on these two switches uh, configured in vlan 10 and port security on these two switches configured in vlan 20 then we will interchange their links with each other in order to test the port security whether it's working on uh, the end users or not let's start our port security in this scenario i will configure uh, basically the mac binding on uh, switch uh, port switch port 1 and 2 and similarly on switch port 6 and 7 now let's start first i'll show you the current configuration of the switch let me magnify in order to demonstrate it more clearly display current configuration we have dhcp enable on this switch vlan 10 name hr department second vlan is vlan 20 it department dhcp server for uh, vlan 10 is a uh, ip pool hr the network for this switch this uh, dhcp server is mentioned here and the network for the second pool is mentioned here now we have interface uh, 1 slash 0 slash 1 and 1 slash 0 slash 2 in vlan 10 and similarly interfaces uh, 6 and 7 are in vlan 20 In order to enable the port security, we have to first enable the port security uh, service on this switch. Port security enable. Now we will go into the specific interface to configure the port security on that interface. Let's say we will start uh, from the interface one. Uh, interface gigabit port security we have multiple uh, options here first we will okay in, in this scenario we have multiple uh, uh, choices i will use uh, the sticky option in order to uh, um, stick the ip in, in order to stick the mac address of the uh, pc in first uh, uh, pc on port first port of the switch let's say i want only one device mac to be ticked on port one for this i have the option port security maximum mac count one in order to do this i have to enable the auto learn mac auto learn option on this port as well port security port mode auto learn now port security a intrusion mode These are the three options in which, uh, for which we will configure our port security. 
block mac mean if any intrusion is uh, detected the switch will block the specific mac address on that port similarly the second option is disable port if uh, an intrusion is detected on port 1 the port will be disabled um, and it will be disabled permanently in, able, in, in order to uh, restore the state of the port we have to manually uh, uh, undo shut down the port similarly disable temporarily in this mode if uh, uh, an intruder uh, connects its uh, end device with the uh, switch the switch will uh, disable the port if the intruder uh, removes the uh, device and the original device is connected back on the switch the switch will restore the traffic on the port 1 let's um, use the second option here disable port in order to check the port security on our switch disable port now we will configure the same thing on our um, second port interface gigabit port security maximum mac count 1 port security port mode auto learn port security and intrusion mode block sorry disable port Now we will bring all the other PCs in order to stick their Macs on their respective ports. Ping 192.168.10.15.1 10 20 dot 50 20 dot 51 now let's check whether the ports here you can see that new MAC address was learned all the ports have learned their MAC addresses Display current configuration. Here you can see on port 1 we have 
this MAC address sticked on port 1 similarly on port 2 this MAC address has been sticked similarly on port 6 we have this MAC address and on port 7 we have this MAC address let's interchange the systems on which port then we will observe what happens We have lost the access of our second PC. Now we will check the state of our interfaces. Display current configuration. Display interface brief. Here we can see that our first and second interfaces are down whereas our interface 6 and 7 are up if we interchange these two systems as well we will be able to see that both the interfaces are down as well ok let's observe I think I have connected with the correct or correctly interchange the end host. Let's check. Let me ping. ping 192.168.20.50 no states have been changed You can see intrusion protection was triggered and the port state has been changed to down. Here you can see ports are down. So friends, this is how you can configure 
the port security on HA3C and HPE switches. I hope you have uh, uh, understood the whole procedure. If you have any query regarding this lab, you can ask me in my uh, comments. Thank you.